Thanks for staying with us here on PLOS TV Africa. It is still the breakfast and uh, we're moving now to our first major conversation this morning and uh, it's uh, over to the Southwest, the PDP's Congress that took place uh, yesterday. Before yesterday, two of the most influential politicians in the Southwest zone of the People's Democratic Party couldn't have been said to enjoy a cordial relationship. Or your state governor, um, Shei Makinde, and former governor of Ekiti State, Ayodil Fayashi, were in what seemed like a fight to determine who leads the PDP in the Southwest. But all that changed during the Zonal Congress, which held yesterday. Let's listen to former Ekiti State Governor Ayodil Fayashi. The issue of this Congress is a circumstantial issue. And it's clear in the public domain who is the leader. Governor, the human today is our leader. Therefore, we should not, particularly those who are our supporters, those who are our lovers, should not continue to put wedge between us. I want to assure you that together we will make it strong. The two politicians have now decided to work together to make the PDP a strong party in the Southwest. And of course, uh, let's also listen to Governor Shei Makinde. The issue of this Congress. So whatever the outcome is, we'll take it in the spirit of a family contest. We don't want to defeat ourselves. We want to defeat ABC. So at the end of this exercise, I promise you there will be no victor, no vanquish. And joining us to talk about this and review the PDP's Congress is a state officer and delegate to the conference, Nuruddin Adewali. Good morning and thanks for joining us, Mr. Adewali. Good morning, my brother. How's everything? Fantastic. And uh, how are you? I'm fine. Are you? All right, I am great. So let, let's start by talking about, you know, the events from yesterday. Uh, I mean, the build-up, weeks and months before this, you know, there was that political tussle between Ayodhili Farishi and Governor Shei Makinde. Um, why do you think, or how do you think, you know, it played out yesterday that eventually they got to settle and Farishi then, of course, named uh, Shei Makinde as the leader of the PDP in the Southwest? What do you think may have played out? I think there is a lot of consultation before the Congress yesterday. Leaders met, talked to both of them. That what when you are in the same house, it's always a family thing. So they are looking for us to fight for colors. This you know we the common goal, and the common goal is to defeat the So they should come together and work together. So I think the leaders met and talked together. Then that let's for the new course for PDP is success. That's exactly what we are So it's interesting to see that um, even uh, Senator Lujimi actually hugged <laughs> former uh, Governor Fayoshi. It's interesting. So um, you said the goal here is to defeat the APC. Is that the only reason why the PDP is putting its house in order, just to defeat the APC or to give Nigerians good governance? You have to the incumbent government. All right. Um, Mr. Mr. Adewale, we're going to have to reconnect with you. It seems we're having struggles with your uh, network uh, quality. We're going to reconnect with you after this short break. Please stay with us. And uh, when we come back, we're continuing with this conversation on the PDP's uh, Congress in the Southwest.
And welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, of course, apologies for that short break. Uh, we're back with uh, Nuruddin Adiwali, a delegate at the Congress. And uh, we're speaking about the PDP Southwest Congress uh, that uh, took place yesterday. Welcome back, Mr. Adiwali. Welcome, everyone. All right, so back with the conversation. Uh, let's also mm -hmm. now look at the uh, winner of uh, that uh, Congress yesterday. Um, Arapaja, what does you know his victory mean for the PDP in the Southwest? Um, seeing the relevance and uh, you know the task ahead of the PDP in order to hopefully win back more states, win back more delegates, and get more people to come back to the PDP. Do you think he is capable? First, let me let me let, let me correct one impression. Yesterday, there was no victor, there was no vanquish. It's a, it's a family thing, it's a family affair. We both won, both, both camp won. And like, like, like you actually said, there was a time PDP had five states out of six in Southwest. And it was part of those five governors then. I think it deputized. It was a deputy governor. Uh, yes, he deputized, you know, said, deputized one of the governor then. So that he, 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 has, he's a, he has been part of the system, you know how it works. And getting people like after the, this, during his inauguration speech, uh, assistance speech yesterday, he said, "We have to adopt, uh, adopt three things: reconstruction, redevelopment, and re reconciliation." So if we can, if we can go by that three word, I believe PDP will be a party to beat in Southwest come 2023. Okay, so in 2015, internal wrangling was a very popular phrase because of what happened within the PDP. Uh, the cookies began to tr um, crumble and, and then the APC eventually won. So it's obvious that the PDP in the Southwest is doing a lot uh, to ensure that peace reigns, which is a good thing. But how does it translate it to the PDP on a national level? Actually, like you said, in 2015, Nigerians said they need change. And we believe they need change of government. And thank God now they've seen the difference between APC and PDP. They've seen the problem of the difference. Are you with me? So, Mr. Adewale, are you with us? Yes, I'm with you. Please go ahead. We're listening. So, getting back, getting the party back on track, is all about getting everybody on board. No, no side is that. This is my calculus for my group. No, if we can put everybody to give everybody the same train, all hands should be on this. I know we are, we are good to go. We'll get 2003 back by the grace of God. 2015, like you said, internal grand game is part of politics. Yes, we do have to tell you this, uh, and we, but I think what Southwest did, you know, what, uh, the, 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 the presidential candidate got second highest votes after, after, after Salsa then. So I don't believe it's, it's the cause of what happened in 2015. It's all about Nigeria that said, we need change, and they got the change they, they voted for. Okay, okay and, and, and what would you um, say that the... Uh, well, like you've said, you know, there was no actual winner. Everybody was a winner yesterday, according to you. Uh, but what would you say that the PDP needs to continue to do in order to spread uh, this uh, successful Congress to other regions in the country and also, you know, maybe also across Nigeria, you know, um, as it seems? Uh, there's uh, rumors of one governor here or there, you know, still trying to pitch tents and move to the APC. Uh, what do you think the PDP needs to do to completely put its house in order and spread this, um, um, you know, victory from yesterday? You know, if there's one thing APC is good at, it's propaganda. They, sometimes they don't cry more than they believe. They will tell us, ah, this governor has been discussing with us, like what the former, like what the current governor of Ogise said. He said, I have talked to nine PDP governors that are coming to join us which you know is part of the game. So they will always tell you that ah, we are this, we are that, we've been talking. Nobody, unless people want to, nobody will go there and suffer. Look at the people that left from PDP to APC. What are they going through now? Look at their predicament again. So it's, it's better for them to be in the house. Let's build it together and for the new cause than leaving the party, ah, this is not, this is not that. I believe we can 
come together as one big family, south, south, southeast, northeast, northwest. 2023 is sure, and glad we are going to have it. Well, you know, it, it seems, you know, I, I understand, you know, your, you know, the positive thinking and speaking, you know, but I'm sure you would also agree that a lot of work needs to be done by the PDP. It's not really about um, just being positive about it and being prayerful and hopeful. There's a lot of work that the PDP needs to do in order to, you know, get back, you know, uh, people on its, on its train. Um, as an opposition party, do you think that the PDP has really done well enough in the last few years yes look 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 at the only government we had in southwest governor engineer lucio in marking is a poster boy for the party in southwest and the, and the country as well like i said the candidate that won yesterday ambassador africa he said it is high time for us to reconstruct we develop and reconcile all our group members. That we can do that, we know things will move the way we expect to be. And secondly, you said about uh, getting things done. How we, like the last, some weeks back, APC said they did uh, vote, um, party registration. We know it was a kangaroo stuff. But after the Congress, I think there's going to be, an, there's going to be a national executive council meeting. Uh, National Working Council, uh, uh, where they are going to have put a date for us to have membership drive, membership restrictions. This thing is easy. Once you can get the grassroots, because I know good governors start from the grassroots. Once you can get the grassroots with us, we know things will move the way we expect it to be. You know, well, you, you didn't get to answer the question about being an opposition party. Um, get, how do you get the grassroots? In what ways has the PDP been able to convince? And I'm going to focus on the Southwest now, since that's where we are okay. with this conversation. In what ways do you okay. think the PDP has been able to convince people of the Southwest that they are, you know, the, a, a better option than the APC? And I'm not speaking now with your, with regards to your rating of the APC's performance in the last uh, few years since 2015. I'm speaking, you know, with your ratings on the performance of the PDP um, in the Southwest. In what ways would you be able to convince more people to join the party? Uh, do you think Governor Shea Mackinday's performance in you know, your state is enough to convince more and more people to join you know, and uh, believe in the PDP? And, and, and as an opposition party, how well would you say you, the PDP has done? In the Southwest? Yes, in the Southwest and across Nigeria. Okay, okay. you know, like, like, like I said before, I said you, you have six states in the Southwest. You have Lagos, Oshun, Ekiti, Ondo, Ogun, and Oyo. Put these five one side, then put our only governor one side, then you see the difference. What's the we difference? We check the RGR in Oyo State now, when the governor is there, compared to when late Governor Juma was there, you see the difference. Check the massive urban and rural development. The transport sector, check it. Even before I came on board, the last work they did, or your state came 30 out of 36. But now they moved to 12 to 12. You can see you can see the event. Even whenever it goes on this, even the, the Southwest governor and the APC members, the former governor of your state, uh Otumba Laokola, will tell you that this is a better option for your state. This is a better option for Southwest. I'm quoting the former Minister of Communication, uh, Adebayo. He said, there is no government like this man in Southwest. So if we can take your state as a case study, you see that these are things we have, these are plans we have for the country. If your state can work, if PDP can work, if PDP can do well and your state is working, why can't other states? Why can't the country? He has made life so meaningful, so easy for people that stay in your state. That's why I see people tripping to your state now, leaving Lagos State, leaving your state, and uh, leaving Ogun State, leaving Osho State. But they believe they have things so easy in your state. Not that you harass people today. Market, there has been a lot of market, uh, a lot of rules, housing, housing schemes, so many things. He, teachers, he pays teachers every 20th of every month. He has started paying the minimum wage. And check the, the debt 
uh, index of oil spill. It has really reduced compared to Lagos with over 512 billion. Yep. So, so with that, we have done, I believe, with his scorecard, you can tell this to the country. Okay, let me come in I here. I think Nigeria will do well. Let me come in here, Mr. Adiwale. It's interesting that you said people were leaving Lagos for oil. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. yet to see if that's the case. But let's let's take it back to the Congress, right? So, former Governor Fayashi says it's okay, Governor McKinley is the father of the party. But let's talk about Eddie uh, Olafeso, Eddie Olafeso, who lost the election. He's not said anything yet. Is he fully on board or is he nursing some form of bitterness? Is he on board? You know, when he said, he's, he said his gracious in defeat, that PDP is like one big family. Why fight him? That Mark, he also said it there, before uh, General Kwaja made his acceptances, he said, there is no need for us to fight. The umbrella is big enough to accommodate everybody. Of course, most of these things are caused by supporters. But if we can talk to our supporters, I don't think there will be any rancor behind them. It's not about teamwork. If you check the results, you can see both of them are good material. Yes, very, very close, just between about 14, 14 votes. So I don't think there will be any uh, rank or any demands after the election. After the, I believe they've called themselves yesterday, complained themselves, they hugged themselves, and said, let's talk to them and move this party forward in Southwest. So that's what happened yesterday. All right. I'm going to also ask about um, rumors of a mole in the PDP. Uh, the rumors that, you know, there are certain people in the PDP that have been planted by other parties to act as moles and bring the party down in the southwest. Um, how true or how likely is this? And how do you think that the PDP can deal with, you know, that um, possibility? You know, politics is all about intrigues. And it's all about getting false information, time force information. They will, that was what they would tell you, just to create that fear that uh, people are here. We know ourselves. We know those are for us, we know those are against us. And we know, gradually we know each member in PDP. If there's a move, we'll push him out and flush him out. So it doesn't cost us anything. Well, you first of all need to know that, you know, the person is a mole before you push or kick anybody out. Yeah, of course. I said, if there's a mole, we'll know if there's a mole. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I think we, we can wrap it up here. Uh, Mr. Nuruddin Adewale, thank you very thank much you for very joining much. us and for your time this morning. And uh, we would like to speak with you again if there are further developments um, in the PDP Southwest uh, Congress. Thank you very much. All right. Stay with us. We have a little bit more to share with you this morning before we hit 9 a.m. here on The Breakfast on Weiwei.